Yo, what's up? This is Chris from the Longest Way. And uh, yeah, I rarely do this. I rarely film in the city. But today I did. Um, we're leaving Jazakh. We just got started walking like 10 minutes ago. And we're still like really downtown here. Fairly big road with a surprisingly walkable sidewalk here. It's not pretty, but it's good. And uh, we spent two good days in Jazak. Just updating the blog. I uh, cut the uh, 7,000 kilometers dancing video and I laid a music track on it because I, cause I had to cut it anyway. And it was a tribute. I don't know if you guys can recognize it. <laughs> I mean, our sucky dancing. <sighs> Whoa. Yeah, now we're looking at, I don't know, 30 kilometers or something today. I really don't know because uh, there's like this little town 30 kilometers southwest of here and I was planning on going there and looking for a hotel but there's two problems first problem everybody says that there is no hotel second problem uh, people say that there's uh, I don't know why but that there's like a lot of bandits there <laughs> <laughs> bad guys so we're not supposed to go there I don't know and then the lady at the reception desk or the hotel she said uh, there is a hotel just off the road in like 20 25 kilometers or something and we could go there but 2025 is not gonna be enough today because we're looking at, at 100 kilometers to Samarkand and we need to do it in uh, three days um, because then we got to go back to Germany on the 25th we'll first go back to Tashkent then go back to Germany so we really got to reach Samarkand within three days if we do like a 20 today then we have to do like 40 tomorrow and 40 the day after which nobody wants so i guess i don't know we'll probably do like 30 today past the hotel park the caboose somewhere and go like 10 kilometers back to the hotel by cab just hitch a ride or something but who knows it's like you can make a lot of plans but things uh often work out in different ways and then we're so excited about the bandits. The Uzbeks pride themselves on public security. It's a little bit like Chinese. They tell you like, oh, look, our country is so safe. There's so much police. Yeah, I don't know. A guy that I stayed with um, had his father-in-law murdered. Well, I don't know if it's murder, but a manslaughter at least by uh, in Uzbekistan actually by dudes that were breaking into a house that he was uh, watching for a friend like literally just the house opposite of the road uh, a friend lived there apparently a rich guy and he's like hey can you watch over my house for like the night uh, father-in-law goes there goes to sleep two dudes break into the house and kill him I don't know I guess like even if you're like a really really authoritarian state you're still gonna have stuff like that happen and like the police presence I don't know if it's so much about deterring crime or if it's more about kind of controlling the population that they don't act up I don't know when you watch the news here it's like Russian news all the way. It feels as though America, Europe is really like a hellhole 
of just immigrants and violence and rapes. And it feels as though Russia is like just a very civilized spectator of this tragedy of the Western world. Yeah. And people like they would ask me like, hey, what about the rapes in Germany? Like they imagine the whole place to just be in, in shambles and chaos. And one time I got into an argument too in Kazakhstan like with this old dude. He's like, go back to your country. Defend it against the foreigners. I'm like, you mean like the, the Arab foreigners, like the Muslims? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, dude, Kazakhstan is like predominantly Muslim country. To us, it really doesn't make a difference, you know? If we start hating, we're gonna hate you too. <laughs> you know? That's what history has proven. And he's like, no, we're different. Yeah, I don't know. People always want to be different. Always want others to hate others, not themselves. Man. How are we gonna cross here? Damn it. Müssen wir darüber? Alright. Vielleicht da, oder? Entweder wir gehen jetzt da lang und dann da oben irgendwann wieder links oder wir laufen noch ein Stück geradeaus und dann. Laufen ein Stück geradeaus, das ist ja eine schöne Straße hier. Ja. Lass mal bei den Bürgersteig darüber gehen. Nur wie? Die haben jetzt auch wieder. Ja. Oder haben die jetzt hier... Ah, Alter. Was für ein Chaos. So we're gonna try to cross here. Damn. Alright, let's go. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Dude here is sneaking up on, on the red light. <laughs> huh. Could be a dead end. Is it? says no. Okay, but... Huh. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go that way. Yeah. Ooh, check out this sidewalk. It's awesome. And it's new. Yeah, we figured out the problem with the caboose with the ball bearings. Like, she makes these noises. Uh, it's just, we loaded too much weight on her. And I'm thinking, should I still blog? Like, when I'm in Europe doing my tour, like the talking tour presentation thing. I'll be in Switzerland, Germany two and a half months. I don't know, I like having a daily blog, but it's a lot of work. And it might just get boring when I, you know, if I just kind of blog, hey, presentation today was good. And the next day is, hey, presentation today was great. I don't know. But then it's kind of part of this, this leg of the walk, I guess. So I don't know. Oh man. Damn. Oh. No. Fuck. Whoa. Спасибо. Немцы. Германия. Да. Германия, да, в
Ja, Germanie. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Auf. Komm, wir müssen zu da. Was ist das? Hey, das ist nicht möglich. Nu, nada. Da muss man. А там, там еще будет? Нет, там, да, сюда, да. А куда Лас, сейчас идете? Самарканд. Самарканд сюда вам надо? Не, Самарканд сюда. Вы пешком? Да. Далеко будет так. Вот эта маленькая улица, там, там можно? Да, маленькая, да? Окей, не мой. Окей, а за дох вели за Это запасной, да? А, да? Опа! Спасибо вам! Пока-пока! Аминь! Окей. So we're turning back on a little road. Wasn't talking to me. Man, and I gotta pee. Damn it. <laughs> what am I gonna pee? Walking the countryside is so much easier in that aspect. Maybe this little road here. I don't want to be impolite. But I gotta pee. Oh. Hurt his foot. Oh, he doesn't have a foot. Damn. No, kleiner. Kein Fuß mehr. The thing with like roads in, in the inner cities that have a really bad pavement is uh, that there's not going to be any cars because drivers don't like them. So it's actually good for us because if this had a good pavement, it'd be just full of cars. Now they just kind of circle around, take other roads. So we're here free of molestation by cars. Yeah. What? Ah. Du machst wieder irgendeinen Scheiß? Ah. Der GoPro macht schon wieder irgendeinen Kack. Ja. Das Ding hier. Und ich muss. Hä? Huh? Weiß ich nicht was. Blinkt voll komisch. 